Have you uh, seen oil soaked racks suddenly burst into flames even though no one lit them? Or you have definitely heard a firecracker explode in the sky with a uh, loud bang, right? Well, believe it or not, these are all examples of different types of combustion, you know. And what is combustion? It is the process where combustible substances react with heat and oxygen. Simple enough. But here is the cool part it is not always this big and flashy some types of combustion are so slow that you can't even tell they are happening in this two part video let's uncover the four main types of combustion this video that is part 1 covers rapid combustion and spontaneous combustion and in part 2 of the types of combustion that we're discussing we'll explore slow combustion and explosive combustion so let's start let's dive in and see how these fascinating reaction happen all around us sometimes they are silent sometimes they are spectacular all right uh, let's start with rapid combustion think about what happens when you turn on a gas stove the moment you bring a flame near it it ignites instantly right that's rapid combustion in ha action that happens instantly for example petrol lpg diesel kerosene these are all substances that catch fire super quickly and release a lot of heat and light and they that's because they undergo rapid combustion now why do you think certain substances catch fire so quickly anybody remember anybody can recollect yes it's because they have relatively low ignition temperature and once the reaction starts with the low ignition temperature the heat is transferred fast and raises the temperature of the surrounding fuel speeding up the reaction or accelerating the combustion process for example let's see this piece of cloth soaked in petrol right if you bring a matchstick like this near to the cloth rack soaked in petrol it burns right away because the ignition temperature is being lowered by the presence of petrol and the heat transfer among the petrol is super fast and once it catches fire the combustion process is accelerated and if you try without petrol see the cloth without petrol and if you bring the matchstick the same cloth will not catch fire at the, easily and it will not burn at the same rate it takes a while now rapid combustion means quick ignition these are the characteristics of rapid combustion all right the next type of combustion is actually pretty fascinating let me give you an example white phosphorus see the white phosphorus here it's a chemical substance and if you just leave it out in open in the air it will all catch fire by itself no matchstick required no lighter required nothing it burns on its own even if it is lying in the shade how is that happening well we'll see do you think for this type of combustion then heat is not required no that's not true all combustion requires heat and all combustion requires an ignition temperature for it to catch fire and white phosphorus ignition temperature is same as the room temperature which means at around 30 degree celsius or at room temperature it will catch fire right yes this is called spontaneous combustion and it is a type of combustion which starts by itself now you might be thinking okay i've never seen white phosphorus lying around can you give some real life examples of course there are a lot one of the most common example is oil soaked rag by oil soaked rag i mean any cloth you have used to wipe up oil paint thinner petrol basically anything oily so what happens there they can actually catch fire by themselves again no matchstick no spark nothing so what happens do you think here also heat is not required absolutely wrong heat is required if there is combustion heat is required that's not the question that you ask the question that you ask is where is the heat coming from that is coming from the reaction of oxygen in the air with oil this chemical reaction releases heat and see if it is stored in a cardboard box like this the heat doesn't escape this heat keeps building up over the time and eventually ignition temperature is reached or it gets so high that the rag ignites on its own that's why these oil soaked rags are a serious fire hazard 
they should always be stored properly in a well ventilated container or metal bins so yeah that's spontaneous combustion for you so to wrap it up uh, in this video we discussed rapid combustion which happens instantly like gas or petrol catching fire right it happens very fast and spreads very fast and we saw another type of combustion that is spontaneous combustion which is a case where combustion happens on its own or certain substances catches fire on its own no matchstick required no no spark required in the next video we'll see the part 2 of the type of combustion that is uh, slow combustion and explosive combustion